This video shows you how to airdrop your stored Windows data from your micro SD card reader flash drive to the mark and transfer subsequently onto your iPhone. This is a micro secure digital card, which is quite an old technology. So the storage is limited to two gigabytes of storage as opposed to your high capacity cards which can store 32 gigabytes and your extended capacity cards which can store up to two tetrabytes, okay? So we insert or install the secure digital card into the compatible plug and play powered USB. So once the card has been inserted into the USB 3.0 memory card adapter, we further insert it into the USB 3.0 port of our computer. For demonstration purposes, I will reinsert the memory card and the adapter to show you what happens on the Mac Finder. And you can see that the name of the memory card or USB has popped up on the left hand pane, which encompasses all of the data saved or stored from Windows. Prior to saving on Windows, make sure your drive was formatted in XFAT, okay? So that is read write on Windows and Mark. So that once exported to your Mac computer, you can read it and write on it. And so first, we want to export data from the YTRDC Kids folder to our iPhone. But first, let's right click on the memory card to see what the capacity is. So we click on Get Info. We can see straight off that the capacity of the memory card is about 1.97 or 2 gigabytes, which meets the capacity limitation of micro SD cards. Our data is about 1.52 gigabytes, and we've got about 447 megabytes left on the memory card as free space. So make sure that you've got about 1.97 or more space on your iPhone when exporting or airdropping your files to your iPhone. So prior to exporting your data, make sure you toggle on the Bluetooth button, you know, switch between the on and off state a couple of times, at least the minimum should be twice, so that your iPhone is visible to your computer and vice versa. And this forestalls any software glitches that prevents both the iPhone device and your computer from seeing each other, okay? The next step would be to right click on the YTRDC Kids folder that we want to export, click on share, and then click on um, airdrop. And because we've activated the Bluetooth on the iPhone and the Mac computer, they should see each other relatively more easily or sync with each other. So I'll click on the Apple icon that you see there, which is a red apple, and you can see right around the perimeter or circumference of that apple, there is a blue mark that starts to appear and the blue progress bar begins to progress around the circumference of the iPhone icon which is the red apple which connotes or indicates that the file is being sent and after it completes one cycle the file is sent and we should be able to retrieve them files in our iPhone device or mobile device. Do note that the micro secure digital memory card in the memory card adapter was formatted in the Microsoft Disk Operating System FAT16 or MS-DOS16, which supports a maximum volume size of 4 gigabytes, where your Mac computer can read onto the FAT16 file system format just about fine. You can also choose to export an XFAT or NTFS, which can be read by both Mac and Windows. The NTFS, however, has a limitation where you can read onto it, but you can't write onto it, okay? And so to write onto the NTFS file system format, you know, on your Mac computer, you will need a third party vendor, you know, like Paragon. You know, but the bottleneck or downside of that is that you'd be totally dependent on the vendor to update their application to accommodate or meet up with the new releases of the Mac OS operating system. Okay. And that's about it, really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Help the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.